Hey everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video, I will talk about installation of SRSRN. So I'm inside the documentation of SRSRN and I have given the link in the description. And this is to install SRSRN to use 4G EPC as well as 4G eNodeB, that is for LT and the UE. So as per the documentation and the installation guide, if I'm not using a USRP, I have to build it from source. So I will be building the SRS RAN from source and I would be using the zero MQ virtual radios so that I can perform some testing. So the two documents that are relevant for this installation is the installation guide with building from source and then the ZMQ virtual radios. So I will be using Vagrant and I will show you the Vagrant configuration. Now in the Vagrant configuration, what I did, I'm using the similar configuration that I did for the previous installations. And for this one, I've created a Vagrant file. Keep in mind, you have to increase the number of CPUs to two and memory to 2048. So let me open just terminal. All right, so I'm inside my terminal here and go to the SRSRAN directory and I will just do Vagrant up SRSRAN. This is because I've mentioned the name of my virtual machine as SRSRAN. So it will spin up the virtual machine and it will try to provision it as well. So let's talk about the provisioning script. So if I go to install SRSRAN.sh, I'm using the documentation I provided here, which is what are the three libraries to install? So we have to install libzmq and czmq, and then we have to use this repository srsran 4 git and then make it. You have some of the components that we need to install, which includes libsctp, libconfig. For CMake, I am using snap. So this is similar to what we did for UE Ransom. As you can see, it is trying to install the required components here. So I'm testing this uh, as a automated provisioning for the first time. So there might be some failures, so which I will configure manually and then update the script. All right, it has started to clone uh, lips that MQ. Oh, there is an error. It does not find lib tool. So let us log into SRS RAN. I think I will update my script here and include lib tool. This was not found. This might create some issues. So I'll update my Vagrant file. Now this is currently uh, <coughs> building libs zmq. I think it has already done with, yep, it's already done with cmq. It's now making libs zmq. Hopefully these errors are, all right, it failed because this SRS ran 4G already exists. So let's log in and perform the manual part. Got it. So I'll perform this manually. First, I will clone the GitHub repository SRS RAN 4G into a directory called SRS RAN 4G. Once it is cloned, we'll create another directory build inside this directory. All right, where we will be performing the CMake. It will take some time to make it. Just keep in mind when you are building it and if you are using libzmq, that is for zero MQ for your emulation, you have to check this it is able to find this lib0mq. If it is not able to find it, then there is an issue with your installation of libzmq. All right, so the build is successful. Now we are going to do a make. And it will build it, so it will take some time. I will just pause the video here. All right, so the build is successful. Now we can start with the test part. Uh, but before that, all right, so the installation is complete. 
Now we'll follow the steps. So we'll first add this UE1 and this is a namespace for the network. And what I what we'll do, we'll start the SREPC. So all right, it says that we don't have the epc.config. Let us check if it is in dot config SRSN. Okay, we don't have the config. We didn't do all right. So we forgot to do the make install and once you do it it will copy these config files now what you can do you can use this to build your config files all right it has installed the required config files now we are done we are going to the installation part is done we are going to run it so first of all we are going to run the epc so we are inside the build directory and we are going to run the EPC. We can use the config file. So I will use .config SRS. All right, that worked. So we have MME, GTPC, all the services initialized. That means our EPC is up. Let us log in again to the SRS RAN. Now let's spin up the enodeb. So we are going to use SRS RAN build. And if we have to spin up the enode B, we need to provide this command, which is actually using the RF device name, ZMQ. And these are the arguments, fail on disconnect true, TX port TCP 2000, RX port localhost 2001, ID is enode B and base station S rate is 23.04E6. So, Let's see if we can spin up the enode B. All right, our enode B is up. Frequency is set. Great. We have a S1 setup response, S1 setup request, enode B, SRS, enode B, enode B, IDX, MCC, MNC, TAC7, PLMN, this, paging DRX. That's great. Now let's go to new tab. And We'll do vagrant SSH SRS LAN and lastly we are going to spin up the UE which is this command SRS UE RF device name ZMQ RF device arguments RF device arguments TX port is TCP 2001 which is actually the RX port of the E node B and RX port is 2000 which is the TX port of the E node B ID is UE base state and we are going to NetNS use the gateway and NetNS that is UE1 which we have defined here. So that's good. We are going to go to SRS and build and run it. All right, it's waiting for physical to initialize. Let's see if we have some communication there. All right, we got some messaging. You can see here in order to be started, current sample rate. Ratch. We got the ratch. User is connected. Now here we have all the signaling. So initial UE message, attach request, attach request, PDN connectivity request, and then it's sending the EMM information. This is connected. Now we can use this to generate traffic. So I will just open another table. Uh, it's an RRC idle state. Okay. And let's try to generate some traffic. All right. You can see this has after the RRC idle service request with cause mobile originality data. We have some activity here. And you can see this is the GTPC PDU. Everything is working great. So, in this way, you can set up. SRS RAN as well as SRS EPC and UE on your system for emulation. So this was the first video on SRS RAN. Going forward, I would 
try to split up the SRS RAN and we are going to work with Open 5G and SRS RAN for the LTE installation. So go ahead and try it out and in case of any question you can reach out to me either on YouTube or on Discord. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching have a great day.